this mass is being offered for the repose soul of David Toole. Today the Mother Church celebrates the feast of Saint Bartholomew Apostle. Let us ask his intercession on our behalf too. And today also James joins us. Let us welcome him. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, accepting our unworthiness before the Lord. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God. Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For You alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. <clears throat> Let us pray. Strengthen in us, O Lord, the faith by which the blessed Apostle Bartholomew clung wholeheartedly to your Son, and grant that through the help of his prayers, your church may become for all the nations the sacrament of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Revelation. One of the seven angels who had the seven bowls filled of the seven last plagues came and said to me, come, I will show you the bride, the wife of the lamb. And in the spirit, he carried me away to a great high mountain and showed me the holy city, Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. It has the glory of God and a radiance like a very rare jewel, like Jasper, clear as crystal. It has a great high wall with 12 gates, and at the gates, 12 angels. And on the gates are inscribed the names of the 12 tribes of the Israelites. On the east, there were three gates. On the north, three gates. On the south, three gates. And on the west, three gates. And the wall of the city has 12 foundations, and on them are the 12 names of the 12 apostles of Lord. Your friends tell the glory of your kingship, Lord. All your works shall give thanks to you, O Lord, and all your faithful shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and tell of your power. Your friends tell the glory to make known to all people your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and your dominion endures throughout all generations. The Lord is just in all his ways and kind in all his doings. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. Ah. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. After Jesus had called Philip to be a disciple, Philip found Nathanael and said to him, We have found him, about whom Moses in the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus, son of Joseph, from Nazareth. Nathanael said to him, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. When Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him, he said of him, Here is truly an Israelite in whom there is no deceit. Nathanael asked him, Where did you get to know me? Jesus answered, I saw you under the fig tree before Philip called you. Nathaniel replied, Rabbi, you are the son of God, you are the king of Israel. Jesus answered, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And Jesus said to Nathaniel, Very truly I tell you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus said to Nathaniel that he had seen him under the fig tree. So Jesus is God. He can see anything. Then Nathaniel... He must have seen the Lord for the first time, I believe. And he said, Rabbi, you are the son of God, the king of Israel. The first time, Jesus says something to this person, and he replied, you are Rabbi, you are my teacher. You are God and the king of Israel. So dear friends, sometimes it's so confusing. And in the beginning, Jesus says something about Nathaniel. Again, Bartholomew, both names are the same. That he was, that he didn't have any duplicity. It means he was not cunning or he, he was not a hypocrite, something, you know. He was genuine, honest. So I think because of this genuine behavior, attitudes, and uh, his transparency, honesty, helps him to understand and to recognize his Savior and Messiah. So today, let us ask Jesus' strength and courage for us too, and uh, St. Bartholomew's intercession on, on our behalf for us to continue to be honest, sincere, transparent, so that we may be able to recognize our Lord more and more, as Nathaniel did. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of his water, may we come to share in his divinity, who humbled himself to share in our humanity.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and for the good of all His holy church. As we celebrate anew the feast day of Saint Bartholomew, O Lord, we pray that we may obtain your help through the intercession of the Apostle, in whose honor we bring you this sacrifice of praise through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim. Holy. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Who comes in the name of the Lord? You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world. Make us grow in love, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coheres to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Give us this day our daily bread. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. By the name of his body and blood of Christ, bring eternal life to us who receive this. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, but only say the word. May the body and blood of God.
Let us pray. As we celebrate the feast day of the blessed apostle Bartholomew, we have received the pledge of eternal salvation, O Lord, and we pray that it may be of help to us both now and for the life to come through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.